Join us for some highlights of Virtual ESC's Review of Basics. What we're trying to do is get some groups together who are willing to try and use this environment so that we can maintain it as a resource for the college. Um, it does cost money to rent the server space, so the more we understand and use it, the more likely we are to um, coming, you know, we're going to be able to keep this. They, they have to um, investigate different games like RuneScape that I mentioned before. They'll have to in investigate World of Warcraft. And through investigating and playing those games, they have to, uh, the, the objective is for them to understand how young people are building social skills and critical thinking skills by using the games and then be able to translate that into creating uh, simulations in gaming and instructional design. And now I'm going to show you some of the basics and some of the ways I run classes from this way. So it does look as though I would have to have the students click the refresh button. So has everybody been able to see me making some changes? I'm, I'm actually using Dreamweaver. I wrote something there and I refreshed it. And I went into advanced mode, and there's some options for changing your appearance there. Um, but yeah, the, the island, the Zen retreat was great. It did have sound effects and the waterfalls and very soothing music. And yeah, it was a really interesting place. I did include a link in there, Eileen. Is the island. that Second Life can create a really a real environment for your students. It's much more like creating um, a classroom. And I'm not artistic, so all you can see is what I've done is I've pulled up pictures from science sites. Um, people like Ken, who are actually bringing students in to learn how to do gaming here, I think can do a lot more. And you, if you look around the islands, you see the many beautiful things. Once you're done. starting to build a virtual community, that means that you have to kind of be there when your students are there. And I've heard some objections to using Second Life for that There reason. are ways, though, that you can work in an asynchronous way. What I have my students do often is come in here, meet without me being here. I send them out to do a project like Magi was saying, Magi slash Ken. I often have them document that they were there by taking pictures. And I often have them give me a PowerPoint with a report. Right clicking on somebody next to you. And it's not rude to do it. They don't even know you're doing it. But when you right click on them, you see that you have the opportunity to invite people to a group. You can send them an instant message. Uh, so there are quite a few things that you can do with people that are in the room with you. And there are also ways that once somebody's been made your friend, that you can send the messages. Please do join us so we can learn more and practice and become our own learning community.